Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda and I love crafting, shopping, decor and makeovers. Thanks for tuning in. I hope your Christmas preparations are going well and you're nearly there with everything that you've got to do this year. Um, I just wanted to share with you today um, some more of my home decorating for Christmas 2023. I'm going to show you in the hallway and the porch um, and show you how Christmassy it is. Uh, is this beautiful picture I got off um, poster store last year um, and then framed it. I really love it. Lovely snowy scene with the red truck. And then here's a long look down the hall. You can see my uh, Christmas map by the door and um, lantern and bits and pieces. And then I'll just go around in detail and show you what I've got. So over here, I'm a little peg area, but this lovely little wooden sign that I painted and I put a little buffalo check scarf on the reindeer. Got a couple of skates, uh, decorations and my basket with um, winter florals in. And then I got this super cute uh, set of bells that I got from Home Bargains. You might have seen in a um, haul video. Um, and I thought they looked lovely there on the hook. And then down here on my seat, which I've recently painted white, I've got some lovely white poinsettias in a white uh, vase, which I got those from Ikea. And then I've got Betty Moose. I got her from a garden centre a few years ago. and I always get her out every year and pop her somewhere. Um, and I've just got a grey uh, velvet cushion there because I thought I've got enough Christmassy up above so I didn't want to get too carried away with a, a Christmas cushion, although you never know if I do buy a Christmas cushion, it'll go there. So down at the other end of the hall, I've jazzed up my uh, mirror a little bit. I've actually moved my heron picture um, and put a, a mirror there for a change. Um, and I've got these lovely gold birds sitting on top of the mirror. Um, and then this lovely sort of um, garland of uh, red bells going um, along the top also. And then on the bottom, I've got this cute scene. It's like a piece of felt cut out into a scene with a Nordic house, some trees and some reindeer. I got that from Hobbycraft, um, which I think is quite sweet. And it just, you know, really makes that look like a Christmassy scene um, without having to get a massive picture. I've got my little fairy down there. And then here's a cross stitch I did of the snowman. Um, I thought that's a nice place to pop it. And a little brush tree. Uh, and a lovely reindeer to greet you as you come in the front door and then the other side he's got a little partner to that reindeer um, and a lovely little um, Christmas tree uh, and another brush tree and then you can see there in remote, remote control um, that turns on the Christmas tree lights in the porch that's handy so I don't have to go out into the porch to turn the lights on just use the remote control Moving over to the hall table, um, I've got this little scene set up down here, which is really cute. A little reindeer with a sleigh, and uh, I've got a little Santa on there and some um, of that lovely conifer type stuff um, that I got from Amazon. Um, and I've got a light as well um, down there, one of my undercovered lights, which I think lights up the area quite nicely. And then on the top, I've got a lovely winter scene going on. I've got this picture here. Um, that um, I think if you bang it, I don't know if it's, oh no, I think it might have a little switch on the side. I have got one that you bang and it comes on. Um, so if you switch it on the side, it lights up. And then I've got those lovely little trees I got from Primark. Um, and then the reindeer, seated reindeer I got from the range. And the other one that matches him I got from Poundland the year before. Got a lovely little house. And then a little bell here that I've t tied together with a gold ribbon. And then put some of that uh, spruce and conifer that I got off Amazon um, for him to nestle on on a little riser. I think that makes a cute little vignette. And then here I've got a lovely vase with, um, again, winter florals in there. And I'm really happy with how that looks. And I have got a little lamp there at the back to add a bit of lighting. Um, and that looks lovely at night, super cosy. Um, and a nice greeting as people come in through the door. And then just to top it off, I've put a little bit of greenery on top of the picture frame there, or mirror frame, sorry. So, oh, and also the angel is on a lantern um, with a couple of lights in that light up. So it's super cosy um, when all the lights are on at night.
can see this is one of the motion sensor lights that I have in the kitchen. So as you approach it, the light comes on. So that's handy. The light's not on all the time. It's just as you come in through the front door, it'll come on. Or if you come down the um, hallway and go towards it, it'll come on. So I thought that was a kind of a, a handy idea to use to light that area up. So in the porch, I have my um, handy welcome to our home sign, um, a lovely wreath, uh, which I've got there at the moment, but I will be changing it soon. So I'm going on a wreath making workshop. Uh, I've got a Christmas tree and a lovely joy sign, uh, a black mirror. Um, and then uh, I've got a table in here now and I've got a lovely sleigh with some winter florals on, a Nordic house, a snowman, a little truck, some angels and a sign that I made, um, I think it was last year or possibly the year before. Um, so uh, just a nice little scene in there. I've got my ladder, I've got an angel, a snowman, my greenery, and then my lovely skates that I've made. Well, I didn't make the skates, but I've um, fashioned them into Christmas skates. Got a little wreath at the top as well that I've put together. So I bought those skates on Vinted, uh, made the bow, added the... Um, florals and the greenery put a couple of brush trees in the top of the skates and then i've tied them onto the ladder and i thought that looks really cute so it's turned them into an ornament give them a second life there were some child's old skates that they didn't want anymore so they're now a lovely christmas decoration um, and then i've got a lovely wreath on top and as i say i think i've got plenty of things in the porch here um, but it all looks lovely. The ladder looks lovely now. I've painted it white as well because it was brown before. I've added some Christmas bells onto my Welcome to Our Home sign and I have a snowflake. Um, but it can also be taken off and um, changed for a Christmas tree. So if it's a frosty day, I can have the snowflake. And then if it's a lovely... Um, Christmassy feeling day or perhaps on Christmas day I can put the uh, the tree on or over the 12 days of Christmas perhaps have the tree on and then keep the frosty for um, after Christmas when it's wintry. I've put these super cute candy canes in my conifer pots outside the house which makes them look now like they're Christmassy trees. So heading up the stairs, I have a picture that um, is kind of like a sister picture to the one that's downstairs, the same size. Um, I didn't buy that on Poster Store. It was a picture that I got. I enlarged and I had it printed out on bonus print. Um, so it was big enough to go in that frame. I think that's a lovely wintry scene. So heading up to the uh, top stair, I've got my Egyptian cat, but he's got a cute Santa hat on, which is actually a, a, a hat for a cat <laughs> that I got from the pet section. My lovely um, skate picture, which inspired my holiday skates. Um, and then in my um, olive tree pot, I've got some green tinsel, and then I've um, rested in all the stones that I've decorated. Uh, so I thought that's a good place for them. And it also kind of holds the tinsel down in place in a lovely red Christmas pot. And then I have my olive tree there, which isn't very Christmassy, but I have put some Christmas lights um, into it. So it definitely does look more Christmassy now. Then over on the windowsill, I've got this lovely uh, reindeer that I picked up from TK Maxx last year. I think he makes a lovely statement there on the windowsill. So I think that's looking really cute. Just a little touch of Christmas as you come up the stairs. Um, so I'm really happy with how that's turned out. And then I've got this gorgeous picture I, I grabbed from Amazon um, a little while ago. A lovely snowy scene, lovely canvas, nice and lightweight. And then this picture I um, is a printable. I've just put it in a frame myself. I think that looks lovely, lovely barn in the snow. And it says, be merry and bright on it. And um, yeah, so I'm really happy with my pictures. And then over on the mirror as well, I have put a little uh, wreath that I made myself. It was a polystyrene wreath, which I covered with white feathers. And then I made um, a silver bow and a silver holder. And then on the bedroom door, I've got this lovely pom-pom um, wreath that I made myself as well. So a little quick peek in the office there. And then have a look at the lovely mirror. 
and I've got a little um, Christmas tree hanging up on the wall as well. So again, little touches of Christmas. Hopefully, I don't think I've gone too over the top, but you know, it's Christmas, so you can you can never have too much stuff. That does seem to be my motto. <laughs> I might put some shorts on um, with the Christmas lights, you know, at night time so you can see how nice it looks. Um, and as I say, stay tuned for um, some other rooms coming up over the Christmas period. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Uh, give me a like, drop me a comment because I do love to hear from you. So, until next week, um, take care. Bye bye.